Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. supposed to say was can you help Robin in his quest for the silver arrow I'm not sure why it cut it off but synthesized speech on the ZX Spectrum this is Robin of the Wood forget what it says down there released in 1985 by Odin Computer Graphics it was also released on the Commodore 64 it's a maze game think Saber Wolf only shit doesn't find your face uh, you sort of said rapidly now <clears throat> I love this back in the day, but I think I only ever accomplished uh, a couple of tasks. Because you have to wander around looking for specific things that you pick up automatically, then give them to certain characters, from what I can recall. Things like herbs and stuff like that. And ultimately, you have to get the silver arrow. Now, the sheriff's men are also in the wood, and they're equipped with fully automatic crossbows. Because apparently, that was a thing. And obviously, as if you didn't know, it's based on the legend of Robin Hood. So yeah, never really got far on it back in the day but did really like it. I mean, that was the thing with games, wasn't it? You didn't necessarily beat all of them, but you would constantly come back to them. Right, so I'm gonna set this to Kempston uh, and, uh, well, get into the woods. Does it bear? Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, let's get into it. There you go, you got to hear it in all its glory that time. Right, uh, and zero is start. Oh my god, I had a memory flashback listening to that noise. Right, it's colourful, it's bright, the animation on Robin is epic for a Spectrum game. Uh, this, see, this to me looks like really good graphics. Obviously Attribute Clash is a thing, but that never really bothered me. And then you can turn the music off, turn the music back on. It's on a small loop, but it's 1 to 8k music, so it sounds lovely and probably tastes very delicious. Got staff. That root at the bottom of the screen, you know, what's currently white, is my health and will change all kinds of different colours before I eventually die. Now, there's Sheriff's Men. Uh, there's a whole bunch of shit. Right, when you see them, get straight in there, because if you're in front of them, they will keep shooting at you. I'm still on white. It's two degree... Ooh. Satisfying noise, that... Yeah, two degrees of colour for each sort of uh, level of decreate, uh, depreciation in your health. Sweet. Now, the thing is, you just wander around for ages, or I did as a kid, and then I found a map once in Crash Magazine, and I saw why, because this game is <clears throat> absolutely huge. I mean, it's freaking massive for a special game. Many, many <clears throat> cold sacks and dead ends. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm allergic to all the animals and the, uh, the pollen in the wood. Now, there will be other characters wandering around. There we go, because you can't get a bow. I'm not sure how I fire it. Because we're on Kempston, and that's turn off music. So how do I change weapons? Well, that's by the way, because I have to find the bow first. More arrows, we like arrows. But yeah, see, once again, I say this all the time, but if you didn't have a spectrum, you'd probably look at this and think, this is crude as shit. Oh. Obviously, if you get above them, then you're covered or below them. It's line of sight, basically. Yeah, it, this to me looks fantastic. Two for the price of one. Yeah. Oh, well, more speech. Can't hit them. Bilotti fucking throws a, a fit. Oh, no way. It comes out of nowhere. The, oh, the guard disappeared. Shit, it remembers. Yeah, there we go. Christ. This is one. Bulls are horrifically deadly woods. Down. Back. No. See, I mean, obviously we would have put the time into it back in the day, but these days, unless you got a map, you ain't accomplishing anything. Unless, you know, by all means, if you had this on the spectrum, we'll come Oof! And you beat it. I've, I've lost a life already. You know, let me know. I'd love to know. And how long did it take you? And what do I actually have to... There I go. Who's that? Let's have for a tuck. Oh, 
Where'd he go? Did he go down here? Oh! See, I've... Already I've got further than I've ever been on the, uh, on it back in the day. I've got arrows and gold. <clears throat> Only I've lost a life. Hmm. Wow! He's omnipotent. So why are they giving me money now, are you? Or are they robbing it from him? Nicking it from him, because I'm robbing. Yeah. Who remembers Robin Sherwood? That was an epic show. They stay dead! Does that mean you can actually use their corpses to navigate? This is an interesting game. It's really quite deep, if you stop to think about it. Oh! Fucking... Hedgehogs! If that's what you are, I don't know what you are. I wouldn't mind if you... Oh, didn't stay... I thought you said bollocks. It would be epic if we did. Oh, look at what's gold I got! One more go. Pretty sure, obviously, I'm not going to find a, uh, the uh, the bow on this. But yeah, let's get into it. Can you? <laughs> Sounds like some sort of evil mastermind laughing. In fact, that's probably what it's supposed to be, isn't it? Yeah. Single-handedly, taking out the sheriff's man, like a Kevin Costner death machine. I actually don't mind that movie, by the way. Apart from his appalling English accent. Oh. Dead end. See, sat never haven't been invented yet. Well, unless you don't count me fighting all the sheriff's men and using their corpses to find my way. Ooh, you cheeky fucker. Oh, hang on. Turn the music off. I wonder what was missing. It's weird. It's on a small loop. When it's not there, the woods feel so empty. Who remembers Meg Marion and a Merry Man? It's coming back as a stage show, did you know? Don't think it's the original cast. I'd still go and see it. My god, I'm waffling. Right. Well, have I only got one life? How come I had more than one life just now? I don't know. Again, map would be nice. I don't know, am I, does it? Is it like, I don't know. No, it's not like a Disney cartoon where you could keep all Flintstones run from scene to scene in a sense go from one side of the universe back into the other side. You know what I mean. Where were the arrows then? Not that it really matters if I haven't got a bow, but you know, it makes me feel manly. I should have a look to it looks like on the Commodore. Normally a game on the Spectrum, then it would, the other version would be an Amstrad because, you know, they're quite similar, believe it or not. Well, if you've got an Amstrad, you know that. Hey! So what did I earn it then the first time round? Oh, you fucking... No! Oh! What was that? Was that something? No. I'm confused. Oh, no, no, no. This is what I mean. Death comes from above. I'm just running like a mad bastard. I should have probably just gone up. Oh, they combined and died. Hey, look at it getting savvy with the lives. Look at me getting incredibly lost. I'd like to say, I know the way, follow me, but clearly I don't. Ooh. Now again, if you didn't grow up on the spectrum, you were probably thinking, my god, this is boring. How the hell did UK kids put up with this? Because we did, alright? Oh! Why didn't you take their fucking crossbow from their corpse? From their cold, dead hand? See what I did there? Well, there you go. I'm not doing it justice because you have to stick a shitload of time into it, but it was quite rewarding. Uh, it was long, you know, I'm not going to lie, and you re frequently visit the same place, but yeah, Robin of the Wood, the ZX Spectrum. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.